Welcome in to another stitch tutorial with myself and Beanie, who's just about to be seen. There we go. <laughs> oh, okay. We are going to show you how to do the invisible decrease. This is perfect for people who do amigurumi, though it doesn't stop other people doing it as well because it makes a lovely, neat stitch. So what you basically do with your single crochets if you're doing single crochet i'm showing you the single crochet version um you carry on doing your single crochets until you get to the point of where you need to do your decrease you place your hook in the front loop only of the v and then also in the front loop only of the following stitch you put your yarn over you pull through the first two loops and you yarn over and pull through again and there you have two into one so again you do your single crochets as you would ordinarily and then when you need to do your decrease, instead of going right the way through like you would ordinarily, you're just going to go into the front loop and into the front loop of the very next. Yarn over, pull through and pull through. Two loops on your hook yarn over, pull through, and you've just done your decrease. Let's do it one more time. So do your single crochets up to where you need to. Hello beansies. <laughs> Gosh. And then when you need to do your decrease, in front loop only, and front loop of your next stitch, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook, which leaves you with two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through, and you've just gone from two stitches to one. And then I'll just finish that row off. like so decrease and you can't even really tell so what's next well increase of course apologies had to get rid of the bean okay so now i have my desk back we'll do um increase so that's how you do your decrease nice and easy now to do your invisible increase i'll go on to the next row you do your single crochets as you would anyway and then when you need to do your increase again you go into the front only yarn over and finish that single crochet as you would ordinarily and then in the same stitch go through the front and the back like you would normally yarn over pull through and finish off that stitch as you would ordinarily and there you have two stitches for the price of one so again single crochet to where you need to and hmm I think I better increase now so front loop only yarn over and in finish off that single crochet 
in the same stitch you've got your front here and you've got your back over there you're going to do your hook under both so your V is on your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through both to finish off that stitch so ordinary single crochet you literally just go through the entire V and then when you think oops need an increase well okay then let's do one so we'll go front loop only yarn over pull through yarn over pull through both to finish the stitch but you're not finished you're only halfway through go into both the front and the back yarn over yarn over again and pull through both and that is how you do an invisible decrease and increase And when you're using this for amigurumi, it helps that little bit with keeping the stuffing in a little bit more because where you have your normal stitches, you do have your holes, but where you have your increase, that hole, that hole is far, far smaller. So there you go. There is the invisible increase and decrease single crochet and there we have it have you done the invisible increase and decrease have you been unsure until now is it something that you always do regardless or is it something you, you've never even looked into let me know down in the comments below and while you're down there if you're willing please give me a thumbs up maybe if it's helpful at least and if you're not subscribed, it's free, you know. There's a little red button down there if you're not. And it says subscribe. Completely free. Woo! And maybe you'll be along next time I upload a video. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Happy New Year, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.